ID8 TV here with illustrator Chris Marzola of FlexComics.com. How are you doing today, Chris? I'm doing great. You having fun at, at BentCon today? We are having an awesome show. We've had a lot of popular popularity and a lot of people coming by. It's been fantastic. Well, you have quite the colorful illustrations. It looks like a, a, a good time, lots of attraction. And tell me a bit about your, your website and your comics. Um, Flex Comics is a weekly web strip. It's free for anyone to view. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the website flexcomics.com. Um, we basically make a little bit of fun, poke fun at bodybuilders and fitness in general. Um, we just did like this week a uh, little blurb about CrossFit, making fun of CrossFit a bit. So um, that's basically what we do. Anybody can see it. Um, we hope to come out with a book eventually where we collect everything. But for now, you know, you're free to go view it on the site for free. Um, and like I said, uh, Jeremy Agapitos is the co-creator with me. And one of the main characters, Flex, is uh, in the strip probably every other week. And he's, he's like a reoccurring character based on the actual co-creator. So. And He's, he is a big guy. big guy, very big guy. And now, is that why you're poking fun at fitness, this this unattainable goal to be super muscly or to take steroids or to be super skinny? What exactly is the point of your comics? Well, sort of, if you're, if you're in the fitness community, if you start to get into fitness, you'll find that it's a tight-knit group and they kind of have a lot of times their own humor. So we're kind of picking up on that and we've it's sort of a niche that we found that no one else is doing. Well, I'm really glad that you all are taking on that battle because it can be obnoxious, the CrossFit and telling me that I shouldn't eat that bread because I like bread. You know what I mean? It's true. It's true. Absolutely true. Yeah. We need to fight back at them, right? <laughs> yes. Fight back. Fight back. And um, what... How did you discover that you could draw? Was it an early age or this later on in life? I used to joke that I used to draw in the womb and my mom could see the finger moving. So any advice that you would give to any future artists out there that want to be doing what you want to do, keep it fresh, keep it new, what, yes. what, what bits of advice would you give them? Um, the number one thing you want to tell them is draw every day. Is you, if you don't draw every day, you're going to find yourself um, getting away from it. I'm, there's so many people out there that say, you know, I used to draw when I was little and I just got sidetracked with other activities and stuff. You can still have a life, but... You should probably try to draw something, even if it's a five minute doodle, just put it down and, and just draw once every single day. And that, that's the best way to go about it, so. Draw, don't work out every day though, because let me tell you. Uh, every other day maybe? Every other day, draw every day, work out every other day. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Chris, for talking to us. Anything else, you have anything to say? Um, nope, just visit flexcomics.com and let us know what you think. Great. This is Whitney Rice with Chris Marzola on ID8 TV.